Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm just giving you breaking news here guys because we have new information about what the technology, the engineering advancement of Tesla is. It is just insane. So we have to look into that because that is definitely for the Model Y a game changer. So let's look into it. Um, first of all, as a background, if you have an empty Model Y until now, uh, or with this one that we have here in Norway, which was produced in Grünheide, um, the weight of an empty Model Y performance is 1,997 kilos. Um, if you have a maximum payload, which is allowed here, of 2,634 kilos, um, you have now a difference of 637 kilos. This is the official payload you can put in the car with your own weight, with friends or kids and luggages or whatever you like to transport. That is based in Germany and Europe, the maximum payload you're allowed to have in your car. Um, that is the rule. So um, the issue we had in the past is if you have a heavy battery and you have a big car, the difference between the empty car weight and the maximum payload was very tiny. And that what is what we had a few months ago when we had a study here in Germany where they made tests. The difference was only 400 kilos. And with these 400 kilos, you had to put your luggage inside, your family, etc. And so if you have a Model Y in the future that has by any chance seven people inside, you can really get in a struggle point here to not go over the maximum payload. And that is um, what is the game changer here. Because with the new Model Y here in Germany, the space or the amount of kilos you're now allowed to put inside is 637. So um, because the car is much lighter, so Tesla is producing it much more efficient, you have now 237 kilos that you have more inside your car. You can use that for another person, for another luggage, um, for skis, snowboards, whatever you like to do that with that. But this is massive. So you just got 237 kilos more space you can use because the car is much lighter. And that is very, very game changing, guys, because this was an issue in the past. But now that is just the beginning. So I do expect that actually in Austin, um, with the new battery packs, it should be even lighter because we do know that the 4680 cells are even lighter. Um, it is not clear yet if Tesla is actually going to um, put um, more battery packs or more capacity inside the battery packs to make it a uh, longer range or if they're going to take the same amount and with that the car is getting even lighter. That is the question we still have to um, ask ourselves. Then we have more reports here. The local government is um, supporting the fact that there is not a water issue here. Um, so we still have to figure out how long it takes to get the final permit. But there is no indication, no negative indications yet. So um, still paperwork, guys. Not more what I can tell you. And I'm not going to run into speculations like other channels do. Um, so now we do have here the Model 3 in Europe. And this is just getting, getting insane as well. We do have here now the max range, um, which is now available in August. And my feeling is that Tesla really likes to push the delivery times a bit back because officially you can still receive the Model Y long range in February. And the issue, or not like not a negative issue, um, but the situation in Europe is that more and more people are actually waiting for Grünheide to open to get the cars from Grünheide and not from China. And based on the news I just gave you about the construction of how much lighter the car is, it makes a lot of sense, guys. It makes a lot of sense to wait now because it is much lighter than the version in China. And this is a thing now where we might see for the Model Y at least some sales decline or not so much growth in Europe for the next two, three months. Until then, um, the German factory is actually starting to produce cars in a um, substantial amount, like in a, in a really to not like 80 cars a month, but a few thousand cars a month. 
that would be um, the point where people are waiting to uh, the for, to get the car in Germany. Furthermore, we do have the safety score. Um, we had the Tesla Club in San Diego asking if everyone can get the safety score, which has the basic autopilot. Um, I think it's a very good idea to do that. I believe it would give the people a good feeling on um, how the technology, how AI is predicting your behavior in the car. And this is, I think, a very important thing that Tesla could add. Um, Elon just wrote OK. Um, I'm pretty sure he gave that to his people to um, figure out a way to do that for everyone. Um, so that would be an update as well. And for Austin, guys, again, just want to repeat that. Unfortunately, we didn't have any specs yet for the cars that we saw outside in Austin. But I do expect in Austin the same technology, the same kind of car um, when it comes to the production here. The only difference is the battery pack. And that is where I'm getting a bit cautious about the weight. Um, if it's going to be even lighter than the version in Grünheide or if it's going to be the same weight as in Grünheide as they're going to use the space for even more capacity of, for the range. Then we look into redwood materials. Um, they are actually going for copper here in a very, very high production rate. Um, so that they could deliver copper for 1 million cars a year. Um, that is actually pretty insane. And I actually start to believe that Tesla, if they have enough time to do that, maybe here in Austin they have enough space to do that, um, that they actually decide to go into recycling at some point as well because it would make a lot of sense to um, close the cycle of somebody buying a car from Tesla and Tesla is going to recycle everything, reuse everything, um, reuse the battery, which they know because they produced it um, in most cases um, in the future, especially for the 4680 cells. Um, so it makes a lot of sense for Tesla to go into the recycling business as well. Um, I would prefer that. And I believe the next billion dollar company could come or one of the next billion companies could come actually from this recycling business. It is a massive business and I do expect the stock um, price from Redwood Materials at some point if they get to the stock market um, just to skyrocket. So um, thank you for being here today. Um, I hope you're now excited about this breaking news um, about the payload because that is just a game changer here. It really shows where the engineering of Tesla goes and where the road could go in the next few years. Um, not only making better batteries but the engineering part as well. And that is what we all know 